Hi, I'm Jasmine, the sequel, and I am not relatable. You might be wondering, something looks a little different about her. What could it possibly be? I don't have any makeup on right now. Today, we're gonna do a get ready with me. This is because apparently my life has come full circle once again. Chantal Marie, foodie beauty, as everybody knows her on the internet, has uploaded what can only be described as a rage fest. And once more, she's gone back to throwing around racist insults. Now, considering the fact that my first ever video was actually a get ready with me discussing Chantal's awful, awful apology and her racist behavior, I thought, let's do a throwback. Plus, I had a very, very sweet subscriber actually asked for, asked for me to do a get ready with me. She requested that I do a plummy look. I had filmed <laughs> the whole thing, the whole react, everything. And my camera ate it. Um, my phone, I don't know what I did with it. The video is all messed up. There's like parts are missing, parts of it are muted. And so I'm just gonna refilm. Currently it is 11.30 at night. So if I sound crazy, it's because I am very tired. But this is important and I wanna discuss it because it deserves to be talked about. Chantal is being a racist. And I think that everyone should know. Now, one of the big reasons why I'm going to be doing this get ready with me style as opposed to doing it, you know, just like a regular video is because uh, Chantal's behavior makes me so fucking mad that I will end up screaming into the camera. This keeps me just preoccupied enough that I don't end up going into a rage myself. All of the products that I use, everything will be down below as always. If you're curious and you want to know what particularly I'm wearing, you know, you can ask me in the comments and I will answer. I just, I don't think I will have the wherewithal to go through everything and tell you each individual product I'm using while also discussing Chantel's appalling behavior online. I also apologize if I'm not looking into the camera the whole time. I have uh, my mirror down here and I'm going to be looking into that to make sure that I don't end up looking like a bigger clown than I probably already will. I've said this before, but normally when um, Chantel starts going off on ragers, um, I am sleeping. I have full-time responsibilities that I have to take care of. And so a lot of times when she is up and she's doing ridiculous, stupid things online, I'm just, I'm not there, right? And then I rely on Twitter because uh, Chantel is notorious for not being able to stand behind anything she says. She lacks convictions in all areas of her life. And so by the time I get up, she's already put the thing up and deleted it. And I end up missing most of what happened. So I just wanna thank the uh, community, the hater community on Twitter in advance for all of the screenshots that I will be using. Um, I think all except one are other people's. I don't really think I take a lot of screenshots. I'm sorry, I apologize, but I, I, ha I have things, I'm sorry, I can, that I can't avoid in the morning and I have to be awake for them. So this whole racist circus basically started when she posted this on a community page uh, saying that, uh, you know, just basically giving a shout out to Citrini Dreams and saying, you know, look, you know, uh, Nikocado Avocado can't stand her either. And the screen grab was of Citrine, Dream, Citrine Dreams video about Nikocado Avocado supposedly shading Charlie Gold. Now, I haven't seen anything by Nikocado Avocado. I cannot stand him, okay? Even when the Stephanie Sue drama was happening, I tried to watch it because I was so damn curious, like the video that he made in response to her, but he is unbearable. Also, I don't care what his opinions are or anybody. A man that can clickbait the death of their partner he isn't worth the ground that he stands on. So I don't care. His opinion, as far as I'm concerned, is absolute garbage because he is absolute garbage. As Smokey Steve and Mark would say, he is a stain on the rainbow flag. Now, Citrine Dream, for anyone who isn't aware, is another extremely problematic and uh, racist channel. I'm, and that's what that's what they are. I'm not going to say they use racially charged, sorry, racially charged language. I'm not going to say that, you know, they are uh, insensitive or they use problematic language. They're racist. And this has been pointed out to Chantel multiple times before. I'm going to throw up the screen grab right now of Citrine Dreams calling Callie from Life of a Free Spirit a minstrel show. 
if you are not based in the United States or are not originally from, you know, the nor North America in general, you might not be aware of what a minstrel show is. And so I'm going to leave some resources for you down below just in case you feel like reading it. But understand that this is a terrible thing to call anybody. Minstrel shows are an awful, awful part of North American history. And for someone to use that term in relationship to a black woman means that you're a racist. I don't care what's in your heart. I don't care what you have to say. This point has been pointed out to Chantel multiple times, by the way, because this isn't the first or the last time I think that Chantel has um, given a wider audience to Citrine Dreams, right? They kiss her ass. And so Chantel gives them shout outs, despite the fact that they're a racist, homophobic piece of garbage. Chantel doesn't really have any principle, you see. She doesn't care. Before anybody comes on here and tells me, oh, well, BB was black and, you know, she dated him and she loved him. So how can blah, 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 blah. There's a ton of homophobes out there who will love their kid even though they are gay, but have a different standard for all other gay people. You want to know why? Because just because you love someone doesn't make you a tolerant person doesn't make you not a bigot. You can be a bigot and still love somebody who is from the group that you are oppressing because you end up loving them in spite of the thing that you think is wrong with them. That's how that works. If someone is willing to kiss Chantal's ass, she could give less of a crap about their principles. That's the kind of woman that she is. Yeah, and I'm looking directly at you, fatty gold. I'm looking directly at you, peanut. I'm looking directly at you, Shani for Christ. These are the people that Chantel, Chantel has surrounded herself with. These are the people that she gives a wider audience to. So next in the Chantel Rage Festa Palooza, we get yet another post on her community tab board. Because in case any of you all were wondering, that's what community that's what she uses her community tab for. She uses it essentially like a Twitter, right? Except that instead of a Twitter, it's on YouTube where it will potentially do her even more damage. I have no idea how her brain works. <sighs> Her post essentially just says, hey guys, Charlie's a bully and she's bullying me and you guys are all leeches. And, you know, she's made very confident in her, you know, beauty and she's very confident in her fat and all this and all that. First of all, yeah, I'm sure you're real confident in how big you are, Chantel. That's why you feel the need to come on here and rage and bitch at everybody once every month, right? That's what confident people do. That's the sign of an extremely confident person. <laughs> Second, YouTube has terms of uh, uh, terms of service. So if Charlie is a bully, then people can report her and YouTube can take care of that. I don't think she's being a bully. She might be calling you names and you might feel a little bit hurt by it. But to be completely frank, ma'am, you get hurt by everything. You are the thinnest skinned person I have ever seen. And God damn it, have I seen Donald Trump on TV. So no, ma'am. You think everything is criticism. You think anybody saying anything negative about you is criticism because you can't take anything other than people kissing your... <sighs> you can't take anything other than people kissing up to you. She also posts yet another link to uh, the racist Citrine Dreams and talks about, you know, how apparently people with kids are coming to Canada to bully her. First of all, people can go wherever the fuck they want. You're going to Florida. Are you going there to uh, stalk Charlie? No, you're going there to see your grandfather? Okay, then other people can go to Canada to do whatever the hell they want to. They can go to Canada. They can go to Ottawa. Heck, they can even go to the Gatineau area. Nobody has to get your permission to go somewhere, ma'am. If they can get a visa, they can go there. Someone shows up at your house, then say something. Otherwise, if they're just coming to Canada, you can say fuck all about it. Second, commenting on somebody's parenting skills is beneath even you, or it should be, quite frankly, Chantel. And I I realize I'm going to get a lot of flack for saying this, but I think that if your loved ones had maybe held you accountable a little bit more often when you were younger, maybe you wouldn't have turned out to be the incredibly thin-skinned, incredibly arrogant and ignorant woman that you are now.
Maybe if they had been more willing to call you on your crap, you wouldn't come online and say such racist things now. And yeah, I said it. Chantal is a racist. Foodie Beauty is a racist. There's only so long that you can look at somebody's racist actions and say, well, you know, I don't know. I can't see what's in their heart. Entirely possible that they didn't mean it that way. At some point, you just kind of got to call a spade a spade. So no, Chantal is a racist. She is a racist and that's all there is to it. She is an ignorant, racist woman on the internet. She is the personification of a Karen. <sighs> now you might think, oh, Jasmine, you've done this video once before. How are you still so mad? It's amazing how much anger I can hold inside of my body. And now after all that, we can finally start the react. Hey guys, hey, hey guys, hey, how are you, how are you? Might sound a little hoarse because I'm getting over this cold or whatever I have. I'm like 99% sure it's a cold. Um, despite what people are saying, which is completely false, I never thought I had COVID. I'm getting tested just in case um, because I have to care for somebody elderly and sick. Ma'am, nobody here cares that you don't think you have COVID. You eat garbage every day on a regular basis and think somehow that taking a few vitamins here and there is going to make up for the fact that you eat garbage on a regular basis. Quite frankly, your thought patterns are maybe not the most stellar. So I don't care that you think you might not be sick and are just doing it as a precautionary measure. The fact remains that you went to a party when you clearly were not feeling well, when you could have had something else. You should have at least thought of that before you ended up going to both Pete's house and your own own house exposing people who are going to be in the high risk category simply due to their age to COVID, you know? Now, potentially you don't have COVID. Maybe you just have the flu. Maybe these people don't have a flu shot. It quite frankly doesn't matter. You shouldn't have gone when you weren't feeling well because that's exactly the problem. You couldn't have known for sure. And the fact that you prioritize eating some turkey and ham over the health of your loved ones and over the health of pizza's loved ones shows the kind of person that you actually are. Number one, um, I don't really feel like um, supporting the coldest water bottle anymore. Um, I've seen them sponsor bullying channels. So uh, call me bitter, whatever you want. I don't feel that I want to be a part of that company who supports that kind of thing that just doesn't even like, I don't know. So, you know what? I don't need your money. So, I'm not going to be having a coldie anymore. That's just the type of bitch I am. So, since we have, uh, since I filmed the original video and whatnot, and uh, we've had some updates in Chantel's life, fun fact, she's no longer supporting the coldest water bottle. Huh. So she goes on here and she says, oh, that's the kind of bitch I am. Yeah, ma'am, that's the kind of bitch that you are. You want to know what kind of bitch you really, really are? You're the kind of bitch who would tell her followers to go buy an overpriced water bottle when it would suit her needs, but would drop them like a hot potato the moment it no longer served her. That's the kind of bitch that you are. You're a two-faced bitch. You're a money-hungry bitch. You're the kind of bitch who would sell out her followers. That's the kind of bitch that you are. Number one, I want to say I have no makeup on right now. And I think my skin looks pretty good. So whenever you say things, Charlie fake gold, like she uses a lot of Lush products and her skin looks bad. Number one, how is that important commentary? And number two, I think my skin looks pretty good. I don't have a tons of foundation on like you do. Oh yeah, you're gonna come for somebody for uh, applying makeup on their face, for putting on a ton of makeup. This is part of the reason also why I think this particular avenue is good. She wants to come on here and talk about how, oh yeah, you know, my skin is so smooth, my skin is all this. I can see your pores in your face right now, first of all. Second of all, so what if Charlie's skin <laughs> has imperfections in it? Everybody's skin does. We can say your skin looks terrible if it objectively looks terrible. You want to come on here and tell me my skin looks terrible? Go ahead. My skin looks terrible all day, every day. I have eczema. That's just what happens with my skin. You shouldn't care that much if you're a confident woman, but you're not a confident woman. You're a child having a tantrum.
I'm sorry that I ever explained myself for my comments about Charlie, about calling her Cole, because I wasn't being racist. And that's, I firmly believe that, and I should have stood by that. I'm sorry that I ever apologized for that, because I know I'm not racist. Um, it's just ridiculous at this point. See this comment right here? That's the comment where I knew she'd gone full Karen. You don't get to decide what offends people of color. As a white person, you don't have that experience. You don't have the lived experience of people of color. You don't have the lived experience of a BIPOC woman. So shut your mouth. You know, Cole is black. So coming on here, talking that nonsense. God, God damn it, Chantel. <laughs> Do you realize that uh, comparing black people to coal is a Jim Crow level insult? Are you aware of the racist history there? No, because I'm pretty sure that a lot of people told you this after the first time that you used that insult. I'm sick of the false outrage. Um, every time a white person, a white woman, she feels threatened by and who insults her look somehow, she then uses the race card and call and and like uses false outrage to call them racist or whatever um cole is a black rock and for christmas time you would say if you're on the naughty list you're, you're going to get a piece of black coal in your stocking so would i be racist if i said to fake gold since you've been a bully you're going to get black a piece of coal in your stocking had nothing to do if it was racist it would be describing the color of her skin and it's not <laughs> it never was i used it in my most recent post saying charlie cole because that's how black is your that's your soul is black not the color of your skin saying that wouldn't be racist chantel but that's not what you said you said something different chantel that's just not what happened. Don't try and rewrite history. We were all there. That's not what you said. You didn't compare her soul to being as black as Cole. You said Charlie Cole. You compared her to Cole. Okay? Don't rewrite history. I don't care about your alternative facts. People are just reaching, looking for anything to chastise me for. And I find that really ridiculous because people have no problem and support her making fun of me on a daily basis and stealing my content to bully it's not theft your content is right there you still have all of your content and if you have such a problem with it take it up with youtube if youtube says it can stay then it can stay they don't owe you shit chantel you don't generate that much revenue for them First of all. Second of all, I'm pretty sure with the amount of spamming that you do, with the amount of times that you contact them for frivolous, useless things, they've probably got a little alert saying anytime Chantel says anything, just ignore it altogether. That's what happens. You're the girl who cried wolf. Or in this case, you're the girl who cried bully. Second of all, you think any criticism is bullying. Am I bullying you, Chantel? Outside of this video, I don't think I've ever called Chantel names. I've never fat shamed her. I've never made fun of her size. I've never made fun of her disabilities. I offer criticism on her behavior. I offer criticism on her potential weight loss, on her hastening steps to the grave. That's what I offer my criticism on. But I'm 100% certain that if Chantel was aware that I existed, which I'm pretty sure she doesn't, my channel is small and uh, it's not monetized. I'm sure though that because I'm a woman of color, the moment I do become monetized, Chantel's going to come on here and probably say something racist about me too. You know, <laughs> sorry, just needed a second to collect myself. I'm sure that when that happens and Chantel does notice me, if she ever notices me, she's going to assume that I'm bullying her too. Because as far as she's concerned, all criticism is bullying. But when I defend myself, I'm a racist. Ma'am, I don't care 
how you defend yourself as long as you're not doing it with racist terminology. If you use racist terminology to defend yourself against anything, then yeah, you're a racist. That's kind of how racism works. You do racist shit and then you get called a racist. That's just how the world works. If you don't want to be called a racist, don't be a racist. It's so simple. This is old creepy man. Looks like a serial killer. Calling me fat, smelly, whatever. Like, <laughs> and his problem is that I'm I'm six hundred pounds, which I'm like half that. Do you know math, Chantal? I'm very curious because you just said that you're half of that. But uh, your last weigh-in, you were four hundred pounds, and given the speed, the rate, and the content that you're eating, I highly doubt that that's changed. If anything, your weight's more than likely gone up. So, no, you're not half of that. That's a lie. That's just an out-and-out -out lie. I, I don't even know why I bother. You know what? The more I talk about this, the more ridiculous it is that, <laughs> like, do you know what I mean? It just sounds more ridiculous that I'm even, like, defending myself against these these idiots. It's hilarious to me that she's saying this at nine minutes and she still has so much more of the video to go. Right? There's still like 22 minutes of rage left. At least you're not as fat as me. Well, I'd rather be my size and I'd rather be me than you any day. <laughs> yeah, wouldn't want to be Charlie Gold. I wonder how much of that she feels because Charlie happens to be a black woman. I don't need to rely on bullying to build my channel. That's when what you all don't realize the difference is. Yeah, you're just killing yourself on camera. The only time I've ever come after you, or anyone else, is in retaliation. Which, is that appropriate? Probably not, but... Oh, shut up. You only do it to defend yourself? You brought Yaba from the YouTube Underground. You mentioned her kids. Are they making videos about you now too? No? Then you brought that up. So shut up. Get off your goddamn high horse, you tantruming infant. And you can profit off of bullying. You can complain that I profit off of my eating disorder or eating this, but you profit off of bullying and that's worse. No, ma'am. In fact, it is not better. You want to know why? Because even if it was bullying, which I don't believe that it is, and it is, definitely isn't according to the YouTube's terms of service, um, the bullying isn't killing her. The food is actively killing you. So yeah, one of them is definitely worse than the other. So I'm truly sorry for is apologizing for something I didn't do. I didn't make racist comments about you. You turned it around that way and said it was microaggressions. Everyone, look, if I had to worry about something I said offending, like people throw racism around. I mean this with my entire chest, but shut the fuck up, Chantel. Shut up. I am sick and tired of Karens like you telling people of color what a microaggression is or is not or if it even exists. You don't have our lived experience. You certainly don't have Charlie's lived experience. You certainly don't have Callie's lived experience. You certainly don't have Michael's lived experience. So shut the fuck up. You know nothing. You arrogant, whiny. Shut up. And don't talk about things that you clearly know nothing about. You are a garbage person, okay? This has nothing to do with your weight. You would be a garbage person at 112 pounds. You would be a garbage person at 600 pounds. You're a garbage person because that's who you are all the way deep down to your garbage soul. Because you're garbage. I'm going to keep doing my mukbangs. I'm going to eat how much food I want to eat, how many calories I want to eat. It's not your business. And you complaining and bitching about it is not going to change it. Eat what you want, Chantel. I don't, I genuinely do not give a crap. 
but you bitching and complaining about me bitching and complaining isn't going to change anything either. So you might as well just save your breath. Okay, <laughs> so that's pretty much the end of my react. I don't give a shit about the rest of what she has to say. Quite frankly, I should have probably stopped reacting the moment she said uh, microaggressions like this because she's being a child and she knows she's being a child. And more importantly, she's being a racist child. So... I want to say this to all of the creators who, like myself, gave Chantel the benefit of the doubt and said stuff like, well, you know, we can't reach into her soul. We can't know what she looks like, you know, deep down inside, on the inside. We don't know 100% if she's racist or not. Yeah, she's racist. When someone shows you who they are, you should believe them because that's who Chantel is. She's a racist, whiny, thin-skinned, ignorant, arrogant woman. And more importantly, she's a Karen. She really, really is. If there was a manager that she could talk to at YouTube, she would have already spoken to them. Now, I don't know how much I believe in karma because there's a ton of bad people out there getting away with a ton of shit. But what I will say is that since posting my last video, as it turns out, the coldest water bottle has terminated Chantel's contract. Quite frankly, it couldn't have happened to a better person. I don't know anything about the coldest water bottle. I have zero affiliation with them. I personally don't use any of their products because I think I have something that works a lot better. I like Clean Canteen. Support them. They do no sponsored content and I have no affiliation with them. But I left a black one in my car for four days in the hot sun and the water was still cool when I came back to get it. And also... They terminated her contract. It's funny to me. That makes me laugh because when bad things happen to bad people, it just it puts a little feather in my cap. You know what I mean? It couldn't have happened to a better, more deserving person. That's all I'm going to say. So she can come on here and claim all that she wants, that she's cutting ties with them because, you know, they are supporting everybody. But quite frankly, they cut ties with her and this is her covering her tracks that will be it from me. I know I'm still applying makeup. I want to finish this look. I'm going to finish the entirety of this look and then I will insert a uh, picture of what the look turned out like at the end so you guys are aware of what it looks like. Uh, I will, of course, be going to wash my face literally immediately after I'm done filming. Um, so this look is literally not going to go anywhere. That's kind of why I went a little ham. Plus, you know, I wanted to do something nice. My follower asked for this. I really appreciate you guys asking me and requesting things. You know, it makes me feel like the stuff I'm putting up is being appreciated. Uh, and also, I, I like doing things that you guys want. Um, I'm sorry to Katie that uh, this video probably wasn't what she wanted. I really apologize um, I know someone else requested a Halloween look. I'll do one of those. If anyone else wants to see any other looks while I react, I'm more than happy to do that. I will try and do another look, Katie, if you want to recommend something else, another color scheme. I promise I will do a better job. It will be less angry and I'll get through the entire look. I promise, girl. I'm so sorry. So if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up or give me a thumbs down if you guys really hated it. I mean, that's okay with me too. Leave me a comment down below if there's something you'd like me to really, really know. Um, <laughs> I kind of like the way that sounded, so I'm going to keep it, I think. Um, subscribe if you haven't already subscribed. Hit the notifications if you guys want to know when I upload immediately. All the stuff I'm wearing on my face, I will put down below so you guys know what, uh, what makeup I put on. All of my social media is down below also. I have my Twitter where I occasionally pop off and say things about Chantel and uh, Amberlynn Reed, depending on my mood, and other people, sometimes politics also. I have my Instagram where I mostly just put up pictures of all of the food that I'm making. If you guys aren't aware, I am in fact a cooking enthusiast. So I put up all of that nonsense there. If you guys are at all interested, please go follow me. You don't have to, but you know, if you're interested, you could. Uh, I also have my Patreon. Think of Patreon as the tip jar for the internet. If you like what I'm doing and would like to help me continue, throw in a couple of dollars down there. Um, I am going to use all of that money towards buying a camera. So if you hate my video quality, you can do it to spite me. Uh, but honestly, please don't feel obligated. If you don't want to or don't have the funds, you being here listening to me rant essentially at my camera at 11 30 at night is uh more than enough and i'm back well i wanted to get the full beat done and then come on here to say goodbye to you guys i wanted to see what you looked like what do you think katie girl do you approve yes no did you like it if you didn't like it you can also tell me that's totally fine i know i went a little ham on the eyes <laughs> 
And because I'm talking about racism, I did in fact end up using a black owned beauty product to do my eye look. I just think that that's appropriate, you know? Anyway, remember, I am Jasmine, the sequel, and I am not relatable. Peace.